I'm putting this, um, I don't know whether I put this at the beginning or the end of, the, of this uh, little video footage, but I'm currently obviously working on my blank custom. And I thought I would show what my desk looks like. So to the right, um, there's a mess there. Give you a warning. Um, yeah, ignore the mess, but you can see, have a look at what it's like. Um, what I will do is, so I'm gonna pull my chair out. When I'm working on a blank custom, hopefully you can see that. That's what my desk looks like with all my colors out. <laughs> I might have a storage solution for that. But, so what I'll show you is, yes, my messy desk with my good old big Coke, my trash drill. I've got some that are placed here because I need them there. Um, that's just all my little bits of toolkits that I use. My computer, and there we go, there is my recording and I am still recording because that is actually my time-lapse one and I am watching a YouTube clip. Um, so highly likely only the person that um, is uh, recognises their scissors will probably be the only ones that know who that is. Okay, so yes, I have a window right here, which means that I get sunlight, but and Boots wants food. So this is what my desk looks like when I work on a custom. So this, this is my desk lamp that I use. Um, extra storage tray, drill trays just in case I need them. These are the ones where I use, they're in the small containers. Um, or I know I'm only using a couple of. So um, how I can tell whether I've used them is they're open. However, these ones I've had to shut only used one or two out of these. Um, that's just storage space for drills. There's my camera and it's 4.45 in the afternoon. But yeah, that's that side of it. So that's my desk. Um, step back, how messy does that look? It's organized chaos. And then just sitting down here is Two empty trays, which is the, all those trays, all those containers there. And then what I do have here is, hang on a sec. I do like to keep these organised. I keep these all in, um, obviously in DMC number order, so that when I'm looking for them, I know I'm at right exactly where I'm at. But that storage container is the colours that I haven't used. <laughs> and then there's a cat telling me, feed me. Isn't that right, Boots? Yeah. Um, and then I've got my, my lids. Um, actually, two lids. I have one lid here. It helps stop anything from sliding off. So, yeah, I thought I'd pop this in just so you can see what it's like. Um when I am working on my blank custom, I will admit I do have a um, package coming that might take some of this mess out. We're gonna give it a go. It's gonna be an expensive test, but yeah. But yeah, I thought that's something that, um, I mean, when, one of the things I do with the opaque covers, the diamond paint, see this, this is, hanging down i'm actually i constantly lean on these all my diamond paintings with opaque covers if they are long i'm always leaning on yet when you look at my diamond paintings none of them have any issue with folding that um because by the time i get to them i've lent on them enough and they're flat but yeah so that's top to bottom and i don't know if you can tell but that's my lion's ER. <laughs> and um, <laughs> what I'm laughing at is on the screen. I can see this and I can see this underneath. So um, I think I might pop this at the this video footage at the beginning so you can go, oh, look for the bit where the camera's in front of my, in front of the painting. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of a look at how much 
mess a diamond painting is when there is I'm guessing there's about 80 colors out I will know soon but what it is is two pages this, this is from two pages um, so yeah hope you enjoy the um, the time lapse I will put this at the beginning I will hope you enjoy the time lapse at the um, at the end of this
Hi, so I thought I'd just do a quick update on where I'm at. Uh, I've done eight, nine pages so far. Yeah, I've got a way to go. Um, but yeah, I've just finished this section and I'm just packing up. I showed you at the beginning um, video footage of what this messy whole face of the desk looks like. Hang on, sorry guys. What this mess looks like. So now um, I actually thought I'd show you what I've done so far. Let's get this out of the way first. Go out the way. Two out of the way. And so we have got those two done. So what you can see, if I turn this up, hopefully you can see it. So what I've completed so far is here and part of the line is this head. So you can now see, oops, I <laughs> have a couple of loose girls. This is her head. And I'll just pull this out. Okay, so what you've got, let's see if I can get this to fit in frame so you can see basically I have done, I think it's about that. So we haven't, when this comes down and focuses down here, that's what happens when you give the brief. And... There we go. So the the ear and her eye, I think, is about here. So we're starting to get a formation of the eye. So that's where we're at with this one. Let's get this off my desk. Um, and see if we can see it under normal light. There we go. So that's what it looks like under normal light. And there's Bo going, who are you talking to? So, yeah, that's where I'm at so far. That is the halfway mark there. But I've got one, two, three. The halfway mark going down is about here. Okay, so that's just a bit of an update of where I'm at with this. Um, so when you are looking at the time lapse, this is what you'll see at the very end. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and um, I'll keep up to date with this one as I go.